Hi everybody. In today's episode, we are talking about reading. Yesterday, we talked about math. Today, we're talking about reading. The two things that I suggest that you make sure your son or daughter are doing this summer. Hello everyone, I'm Phil Black. I run an online mentoring program called Preple Academy, where I help coach, teach, and mentor rising high schoolers, freshmen, sophomores, juniors, seniors, about making smart decisions in high school, in college, college majors, careers, and life. And one of the things I assign to all of my prep wellers is to ensure that they are reading during the summer. Now, it sounds easy. It sounds like, oh, of course, reading. That's, that's obvious. Everybody knows that reading is good for their kids. So if you ask your son or daughter this evening, hey, son or daughter, what book are you reading these days? Are they going to give you a blank stare? Are they going to have, boom, have an answer and give you a little synopsis of what they're reading? Some kids read all the time, which is great. Some kids, it takes an act of God to get them to pick up a book. So both ways, today's assignment for you is to quiz your son or daughter. Ask them what book they're reading. If they're reading a book, great. Reinforce that. You know, the other thing having your kids read during the summer does is it allows you to open up great dialogue with them. I don't know about you, I have sons. Sometimes I get a lot of grunting and moaning and a lot of oomphs and yes, and I sometimes don't get that much flavor, that much context and texture. But when I ask them what they're reading, bam, I'm good. They have something to talk about. They tell me characters, they'll tell me plot, they'll tell me what's happening here or there. So that's another good way to encourage conversation and dialogue with your son or daughter. Now, if they're not reading anything, that's okay. Don't rough them up. Just say, hey, maybe I've, uh, you know, I should have asked you a little while ago. I know the summer can go by quickly. We're almost done with summer. So things go by quickly. And if you're not thinking about it, which is why I'm trying to be here every, every afternoon, morning, or evening, prompting you to think about these things because, man, summer, gone. Son or daughter, haven't read a book. Not a great answer. So you still have a couple weeks left. If they do not have a book, Bam, go to the library, look around your house, find one that they like, that they enjoy, particularly if they're not that into reading. Don't force them to read Harry Potter. Don't force them to read some wazoo book, some big thick book that's too intimidating. You're gonna want them to find a book that they like, that they enjoy, that they're interested in. I don't care what it is, even if it's comic books. Get them reading something, get something in their hands so that at any given time, when you're asking them, hey, what are you reading? they have an answer. I hope this has been helpful. If there is somebody in your life who has a rising 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th grader, and they might appreciate this message because kids should be reading from a very young age, please share this message with them, tag this message to them, and spread the word. Let's get our kids reading. And once again, I know this isn't a big revolutionary topic. However, sometimes it's easy to forget. It's easy to lose track of. But a simple question, can wrap that up today. Join us at prepalacademy.com if you're interested. Please share. Please give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know you're out there. Let me know that this matters to you and that this advice and this prompting is good. Or tell me, hey, duh, obvious, Captain Obvious, everybody knows that. All my kids are reading. You don't need to remind me of that. You can hit me with that too. That's okay. I'm a big boy. Or if you have other topics that you'd like me to address, hit me with those. I'm coming at you Every day this summer, live, trying to give you points, tips, suggestions, little prompts to help you make your son or daughter the best they can be. Thanks for joining and see you tomorrow.